Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. I am Dr. Nazish Mazhar Ali and our topic of discussion is Atmosphere. Atmosphere is defined as blanket of gases which surrounds earth or we can also define it as the gases which surround any star or planetary body and these stars or planetary bodies are being held in a place by the gravitational force or we can define it as a layer or set of layers of gases surrounding any planet or any other material. The term atmosphere is derived from an ancient Greek word that is atmos which means vapor and sphera which means ball or sphere or any spherical object. Students, we all know that the earth is part of the universe and it is till today the only planet with the life on it. So the reason of it is that it has its own unique atmosphere which is basically composed of many gases and other particles. Now if we see composition of the atmosphere of the earth it is about 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, 0.9% argon and carbon dioxide constitutes 0.03%. So in gases, nitrogen is the major contributor. There are also present the water vapors, the traces of dust particles, pollens and plant grain in the atmosphere. This pie chart shows the percentage of the nitrogen and oxygen gas, also carbon dioxide, argon and other contributors of the earth atmosphere. Another slide giving you the diagrammatic explanation of the components of the Earth's atmosphere. The Earth's atmosphere is subcategorized into different layers. I have studied different contents regarding the division or classification of layers of Earth's atmosphere. Uh, different uh, authors have described the Earth's atmosphere's layers in different numbers. Some divide into three major layers, others into five, and yet others into more. So I have tried to combine all of these. If we start from the nearest of the Earth, we say from the Earth's surface, the nearest one is the troposphere. Then comes the stratosphere, ozone layer, mesosphere, thermosphere, ionosphere and the most far one from our earth's surface is the exosphere. Students, in this diagram you can also see some layering of the earth's atmosphere that is the troposphere stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere, and exosphere. Exosphere is somewhere at the end of the Earth's atmosphere and it is more like endless. We do not know the limits of the exosphere. The troposphere is the layer which is nearest to our Earth's crust. In stratosphere lies the ozone layer and then comes the mesosphere, thermospheres and finally the 
exosphere. The Earth's atmosphere extends from Earth's surface on an average height of about 12 kilometers or 7.5 miles or 39,000 feet. Dear students, it means that if we see the first layer of our Earth's atmosphere, that is the troposphere, it is actually away at least 12 to 12 kilometers from our Earth's surface. And it, the other layers can go for beyond 90 kilometers. This slide shows the distance of different layers of Earth from the Earth's surface. You can see that the troposphere is starting from 10 kilometers and then comes the stratosphere which is near about 35 to 40 kilometers. Then the mesosphere between 60 and 70 kilometers and the thermosphere is at 90 kilometers far from the Earth's surface. And after thermosphere is the exosphere which is almost limit, limitless. We do not have the exact measurements of the exosphere. Another slide showing the distance of different layers of atmosphere from Earth's surface. Also, these layers have been given different names like from stratosphere to ionosphere, we have C region, D region, and F region. You can clearly see that the cloudy area is included in the troposphere and the stratosphere. So actually the air airplanes and the other uh, flying objects like air balloons, they fly in troposphere and stratosphere. Some interesting fact about the layers of the atmosphere. Um, as we all know that our Earth's atmosphere is subdivided into many layers. But the coldest one is the mesosphere. The mesosphere is the layer which is with the minimum temperature. Let me tell you one more thing that whatever meteorites or asteroids they come towards our earth they are being destroyed or they are burned when they enter in this level that is in the in the mesosphere so you can say that the mesosphere is more like a protective layer from the meteorites and asteroids that come to the earth surface The hottest layer is the thermosphere, as its name indicates. We all know that thermo means temperature or heat, and sphere means layer. So, the thermosphere is the layer of the Earth's atmosphere with the maximum temperature. Yet another slide showing different layers and their distances from the Earth surface. Earth's atmosphere play important functions and the most important one is the first one. That is, it has the air in which we are breathing. We would die if we won't breathe. So we need oxygen and that oxygen is present there in atmosphere. The atmosphere protects life from the harmful rays that are being emitted from the sun. It also helps to keep the planet's heat or temperature from the sun from escaping back into the space. We all know about, we have already studied about the greenhouse effect. It is also a major element of the water cycle. We have already discussed about the water cycle in the water and moisture that how the ground water comes to the earth surface and then it is evaporated into the atmosphere it is suspended as water vapors and then it is condensed and then it comes back to earth in the form of rain or snow 
And finally, the atmosphere keeps the climate on the earth in a moderate way as compared to the other planets. Dear students, please do remember that our earth is the only planet with the life on it. And that is all because of our atmosphere. Atmosphere versus pollution sounds interesting, but it is very deleterious. How? Because we, the humans, are killing our atmosphere. How? Via pollution. So, we all know that pollution is anything, in any form, in gases, in liquid form, in solid form. Whatever unwanted material that is we are dumping in atmosphere is resulting in pollution. So, the air pollution, when it occurs, it puts harmful gases into the Earth's atmosphere. And yet, we have already studied about the global warming. We all know that the ozone is being depleted, as I have told you earlier, that the ozone layer is present in stratosphere and it is being brutally destroyed by the gases which are being emitted by different types of the commercial and domestic users. We know that the air pollution sources are basically your CFCs, that is the chlorofluorocarbons, the sulfur dioxide, the nitrous oxide, Excessive methane, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, release of ammonia and suspended dust particles, all the organic and inorganic particles and the biological molecules, all these excessive release of all these materials into the atmosphere is actually destroying our atmosphere, which is not good for the life on Earth. Students, I have explored some internet websites and book material to prepare this lecture. I have provided the references so that you can explore more and also you can consult your reference books. Thank you all.